A hole in the ozone layer has opened over the North Pole for the first time in nearly a decade. Researchers say the hole was nearly three times the size of Greenland at its peak a couple weeks ago, which is the single largest ozone hole ever recorded over the North Pole. So how did it get there and why is it so big? The ozone layer is a cushion of gas in Earth's atmosphere that basically acts as a shield against the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The more ozone that is in the ozone layer at any given time, the more protection we have from UV radiation. You've probably heard of the ozone hole before. That is an annual hole in the ozone layer that opens in the South Pole uh, every year between September and December, which is springtime in the South Pole. And during the springtime, winds swoop in and create this sort of circular container for cold air over the South Pole that's known as a polar vortex. And when this happens, uh, a bunch of cold air gets concentrated into a uh, small space for you know uh, several months at a time, and that leads to more clouds forming higher up in the atmosphere. These high-altitude clouds mix with a bunch of uh, man-made pollutants like chlorine and bromine, and together the clouds and the pollutants create this mixture that uh, eats away at the ozone gas in the ozone layer, leading to bigger and bigger holes. Right now, it's springtime in the northern hemisphere, and there's a polar vortex happening right now. Uh, this year's vortex is more stable than usual, which means it's holding more cold air in place over the uh, North Pole than usual and that's leading to more of these high altitude clouds than we usually see there. Here's a map from the European Space Agency showing the hole over the North Pole. The red areas signify a higher density of ozone gas in the atmosphere, where the green and blue and purple areas show a depletion of ozone. Right in the middle over Greenland and northern Canada, there is a big blue section that shows the uh, current ozone hole being trapped in place by these uh, polar vortex winds. In fact, the, uh, the effect has been so strong this year that uh, Martin Damaris, an atmospheric scientist at the German Aerospace Center, who uh, was involved in this research, said, quote, from my point of view, this is the first time you can speak about a real ozone hole in the Arctic. The good news is that the hole over the North Pole seems to be closing on its own. The winds are already starting to dissipate. The hole's been getting a lot smaller over the last few weeks, and uh, that's good. It's probably not going to affect people in Greenland so much. More good news is that the ozone hole over the South Pole appears to be shrinking faster and faster. A study released in 2018 found that the ozone hole is getting smaller by a couple of percent every decade and could close completely by the year 2070 or so. Part of that is because of global warming. Warmer temperatures in the South Pole mean uh, fewer of the conditions to create these high altitude clouds that trap the cold air there. But the bigger piece of the puzzle is a global ban on ozone-depleting pollutants that the UN put in place in 1987. And this ban has had a real significant impact on the ozone hole and is just a reminder that concerted global action really does work in undoing environmental damage.